Welcome back to SNJ Gamers here. Today I bring you another Sea of Thieves tutorial on how to make a Pirates of the Caribbean character. This one in particular, he's Captain, but he's more recently a Captain than any of the other ones. Captain Jack Sparrow, he's known to be a Captain. Captain Barbosa, he's known. Jack Sparrow, uh, I already said Jack Sparrow, sorry. Davy Jones, Blackbeard, they're already known to be Captains. This one recently became Captain, and he is Will Turner. That's right. Will Turner from Pirates of the Caribbean. I'm going to be showing you on how to make him in Sea of Thieves today. He became Captain of the Flying Dutchman, and that's all I'm going to say about that. I'm not spoiling anything from the movies. Oh, man. This skeleton ship has been spinning. Oh, he's spinning the other way now. Nope, he's still spinning the same way. I thought his... thought the stern was the bow, but it's not. Still spinning. I'm not moving, dude. I don't know if he's waiting for me or not, but I'm not moving. Anyways, this is what he'll look like at the very end. I'm pretty proud of how he looks, it turns out. So, he looks pretty good in my opinion. And I'll be showing you how to make him. So, first thing you want to do is you're going to want to come out of the tavern. Which is like where you wake up. It's going to... Uh, this outpost in particular is here. It's uh, Galleon's Grave. And so you'll come on out. Come on up here. And you've seen this one in many of my other tutorials. I'm not sure why it favors this outpost for me, but I guess it's just like, hey, you're making another tutorial. Let's put you here. Let's keep it going. Anyways, you're going to want to come up here and find this little shop with a boot on it. If you find a boot, you know you're in the right place because this is where all your clothing, all your accessories, everything is going to be. Everything's going to be right inside this building. So go on inside. Uh, the dude's going to be a total dick. His name is Cooper. Yes, your attitude. <laughs> me and him are just like rivals man me and this NPC man if he, we should go at it man 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 I keep saying man my gosh my man <laughs> alright first things first he doesn't wear a hat so you can save your money on that thank god because a lot of the hats are very expensive and if you're short on coin this is a pretty good look first things first you're going to get a sea dog belt it's pretty fitting and it has two straps on it uh, there's numerous other options. You could choose whichever one you want, but I just went with this one. I went th with the Sea Dog belt. Beard, thank goodness he doesn't really have one, uh, and it already is equipped. Um, I believe I either I bought it or I it's already in the chest. But I'll show you which one that one is. Uh, first things first. In here, depending on which Will Turner's look you're going for, there's a lot of different options. Um, from the first movie, you could do Admiral shoes. And if you're looking at, there's, he changes his look every movie he's in. It's like, can you keep a wardrobe the same? Nope, not with Pirates of the Caribbean. But for this look, I went with Redcoat Executive Admiral Boots. They're pretty good, and they're not as fat or clunky, you know, like these ones are. Let me show you what those ones look like. No idea what he just said, nor am I giving a crap. Let me go on over to boots if you put these ones on they look kind of uh too big unless you like it that way me in particular i think they're too big i went the red coat uh executive admiral boots which look way more slim and fitting for like the pants what are you looking at i don't even know what to say at this point, just like, just, shut up, Cooper, shut up. One eye ass motherfucker. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Okay, he doesn't wear gloves either, so you can scroll past that one. He's not wearing a dress, he doesn't have an eye patch. Um, hair, this one's super important because there's only really one hairstyle that's one or two hairstyles that's fitting for him. Either the sea dog hair, 
which isn't very fitting, but I did the coarse hair, sea dog hair, because you know how his hair is kind of like pinned in the back, you know, like almost like in a, almost a ponytail, hair dye, you don't have to worry about that, hook, he doesn't have one, jacket, you have some options here, let me, let me show you. It's not going to be Admiral, but you could you could use the Sea Dog jacket if you want. You could use the Mercenary jacket. I've used those in other tutorials. I think I don't really try to use those because they're used on different characters, and so I don't want to make them look too much like the other character. You could get the Ruffin Sea Dog jacket, or you could go over and get this one that I got. Um, I used that one for like Jack Sparrow, um, and I got the High Collar jacket. That's the one I'm using. I mean, there's other options around, but that one's probably going to be your best bet, is your high dollar. High dollar. <laughs> high collar. <laughs> yeah, high collar is not high, very high dollar. So, let me say, let, let me just say that. It's not too expensive. It's about as expensive as this one right here. About $13,575. $13, you're like, holy crap, that's a lot. I mean, if you're low on coin, you're, okay you're super low on coin then customizing your character is probably going to be the least of your priority uh least of your priorities and is also going to be the furthest thing out of reach so if you're low on coin spend them on like quests and stuff so you can make more coin that's the way the thing uh works the sea of thieves there there's random loot around but that also makes sure that it doesn't stay stagnant because if you ran all out of your money and there was no loose treasure around for you to find any money. Alright, shut up. I'm going. If there was no loose money anywhere, and you just ran all out of money, then you couldn't go around all these shops and get quests and stuff. Then you basically would just hit a roadblock and would not be able to play or customize or make any more money. So that would just kind of end the game for you, and they made sure to avoid that. Yes, I want to make Will Turner. And for you to start being nice to people. Now you can come on over to shirt. Um, depending on the look you want, you could use the Admiral shirt. It looks pretty good. Um, the one I'm using right now is the Rotten Bilge Rat shirt. It's the closest one I could get to a solid brown color that actually looks good. And it looks pretty good, like with the straps. So that one looks pretty good. I also bought this one, the Executive Admiral shirt. It's really not expensive at all. It is very cheap. So that one's pretty good if you want to use that one. Um, see, this is just way too expensive. Like, no. Just get this one if you want straps. It's super cheap. Way cheaper and it looks better. Unless you want to go for this. If you want to spend your coin however you choose, go for it. I'm not here to dictate what you spend your money on. I'm just here to direct you on what to spend it on. To make the best of it. To make this look. First things first, you're going to come on over and get the Grand Admiral trousers. They're literally just like close to 2,000. Close to 3,000, actually. You could do Hunter trousers, which are just like solid black. Work with a lot of things. You could get the Rough and Sea Dog trousers as well. Not bad at all either. But those are really your options for that one. That again, you can do any you want. I mean, you know, Will Turner isn't going to wear a skirt. You know what I mean? <laughs> That's just not Will Turner, you know? But yeah, that one's that. Or you could do the Black Coat Executive Admiral trousers because it kind of gives you a baggy look to it. But it's just up to you. The one that I went with is... Come on, get on over. There we go. Is the Grand Admiral trousers. Just simple brown pants. Tattoos. I don't know if Will Turner has any tattoos. Makeup. He doesn't wear any. Go on, get lost. Alright, I'm going outside. You know what, Cooper? You need to spice this place up, okay? It's too depressing. I think the reason you're mad is because literally you're, uh, your co-worker's dead and he's trying to kill you. He's literally haunting you. You need to clean this place up and make it lively in here, okay? Get yourself a new look. Clean yourself up. Get a new eye patch. Go to the fucking spa. Uh, just do something. Have a pool day. Have a sleep day. Go to the damn... Go to a show, you know, hit the seas, do something, you know what I mean? Just clean yourself up, refresh yourself, and come back and treat people with some quality service, you know what I mean? Just clean yourself up, get yourself straight. Now this is the look when it's done. 
Now let me just unequip everything, including the hair. Oh my god, I am bald! Okay, just to show you, just like the other ones, this one, I'm doing just like the other ones. Got nothing on. Now let me start fresh. First things first, come on in. He doesn't have a hat. Go to a shirt. You could use the sailor shirt. It comes literally just, it's your standard white shirt. It's what you get when you first start the game. But I used a rotten bilge rat shirt. It's the one with the straps. You see these two straps over a, like a brown shirt, you know you're in the right place. Gloves, skip past it. Jacket, unless, unless you had gloves and chose it for the look. But I didn't. Jacket, I went in, high color shirt, boom, equip it. Dress, get past, belt, I went in, equipped, sea dog belt, there you go. Bottoms, went on over, equipped them Grand Admiral trousers, or you could go with this one, this one, or this one. Any of them work, but I chose this one. Boots, Redco Executive Admiral boots, you're going to want to equip those. For this particular look, underwear, it doesn't really matter, it's up to you. So this is what we're looking like so far. Not bad, just the clothes, not bad. But still it doesn't scream Will Turner, it just screams like apparel wise, uh, apparel, like clothing wise. Looks pretty dang good, it's a good outfit. But if you just came across somebody, you're like, who does this person even look like? Just doesn't even look like him, you know? Um, I went with a well-groomed beard. That's the one that I went with. And for hair, hair-wise, I went with... Which one did I go with? I think I went with this one. Coarse hair, sea dog hair. Now go on over to hair dye. And I don't think he has necessarily black hair. I think you can go with black... Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to close that. You can go with black hair. I think he has kind of brown hair, though. I think he has like dark brown hair. I can't tell. It's like a and he sometimes his hair gets wet a lot of times in the movies, so it's kind of hard to tell. But uh, yeah, that's that, and I actually think that's pretty much it right there. Well groomed beard. I think I'm gonna go with black actually. Let me check out beard to make sure. Let me look at my reference as well. For this particular look, because there's so many different looks. I mean, he kind of has a mustache, but I don't want it to look like this, because that does that does that screams more Jack Sparrow or Captain Barbosa more than anything. Way more Jack Sparrow than way more Jack Sparrow, but the bottoms kind of reminds me of Barbosa. But this is the closest that I could get to him, and my character naturally comes with like a little bit of facial hair, that dark spot around. So that one fits pretty well for him. I mean, Will Turner does have like some facial hair around the sides of his jawline, a little bit of a mustache, and kind of like a goatee. A little bit of hair more on his chinny chin chin, you know? So this one <laughs> pretty much works pretty well for him. So yeah, let's take a look at him. There you go. There he is. Ladies and gentlemen, that's Will Turner right there. That is Will Turner from Pirates of the Caribbean. So now, what do you think happens now? Well, I think that's all for today, actually. Now, it's on to adventures. But I'll save that for another video. So, if y'all enjoyed this video and liked this look and tutorial, please consider smashing the like button, subscribing to my channel, checking out the videos down below or over to the side for similar content. And if you enjoyed uh, and want to see more content like this, uh, subscribe and I'll, I'll be trying to make more looks like this. Um, 
I'll try to make more looks and give more requests, but I can't make any promises that I will make them all because my schedule is super busy right now. And so if you make a request, I'll try to get to it. It's not guaranteed that I'll get to it like within a week or in a very good timely manner. I'll try my very best, but I might not ever get to it because things might arise and this is just... I hate to say this, and I, I love making content for you guys, and I love the support, and I really want to say thank you for that, but this is my hobby. I love to do this in my spare time. If I have no spare time, then I'm not going to make videos. That's just all there is to it. Like, if more important and pressing things come up, I'm going to prioritize that and put this on the back burner. So if it takes me a while to make videos and get them out to you, I'm sorry for that. I'll just try my best and get it out as quick as I can in a timely manner, but if it starts to stress me out, I'm going to have to kick it to the side. So I'm, I'm sorry for that, but yeah, I will make videos and content and try and fulfill those requests as best as I can. So try not to overwhelm me with too many requests, but if you have another idea, I would love to hear it, and I'll try my best to get to it. And it might just be I'll tell you the required... Um, items to make that look instead of me purchasing it like this because I did one with Captain Hook where I don't have all the necessary like uh, clothing items and stuff unlocked yet because I don't grind at this game. I play it casually. So I'm not your grinding sweat gamer over here. That's not me. I'm a casual gamer. I love to do it to have fun and just, you know, just have a good time. So that's my gaming style. And if you enjoyed this video, just let me know what you thought, okay? I'll take care, and I'll catch you all in the next video. Goodbye. Thank you for watching.